Your side news today, the vegetable you should be eating. Also, the latest in the presidential elections coming up. All this and more next, right here on Clarion's very own TV5 News. You'd be home a couple hours ago, everything away, so I just... Pizza. Pizza. For information. Yeah, yeah, pizza. If you had just called me, I would have known what... Pizza. Pizza. You need to know how math can improve your future. He meant it. Konami will tell you. You're watching Clarion's very own TV5. Thousand good evening. I'm Carolyn Kelly. And I'm Terry LaCruz. Here's a look at some of the stories we're covering for you in the next half hour. Like, will taxes could get high? This is the forecast. Board life is very young. TV5 News at 8. But first now, moving on to a story that we have been dominating the headlines for the last few weeks, the presidential election. Our Mark Well, I have known you uh, still can't pronounce my name right. I'll get you back with that, don't worry. Uh, but as we said, we're talking about election 2000 here. We are in day 22 of this. Who knew that three weeks ago when this started, we would we would still be the president. Talking about drew a smiley face. I guess they like all the little battles that are going on. Uh, there are so many of them going on, especially down in Florida. Here's what's going on. Al Gore has asked for a recount of 14,000 ballots. are coming from Miami Dade County. As I said, Republicans are saying we want all of the ballots. So that would get rid of this number, and that would mean one million votes would have to be recounted. Well, Democrats are saying, hey, is ballots created from those million ballots. Now, so what's happening on this now is in Tallahassee, Florida's capital, Judge N. Sanders Saul has authorized local officials from Miami-Dade and County for convoy to PM on day. And what's going to happen is Saul will decide if the one million ballots or the 14,000 ballots or no ballots at all will be recounted. He will decide what the recount process is on Saturday. Now, for his reach of 15,000 ballots. So what's going to happen? He's saying immediate recount. He's saying Saturday is too long to wait for this. So that's where we are in court right now. Let's go ahead and talk about transition teams. Because it's an enormous of happening now is government going ahead with its uh, laying the groundwork for both candidates, whoever it is. Both candidates are being getting CIA briefings and Secret Service protection. But the Republicans want the five million dollars money. Herman's not. Yeah, they are the other transition point. And the inaugural committee has started to get ready. They are planning the parade, and planning everything for the inauguration in January. Whoever it's going to be, they're already inviting the bands. I hear. And Bush, Bush Cheney, is what? What's the five million dollars? That's fine. They have opened it in McLean, Virginia. And one last thing here: the Florida legislator is considering uh, right now a special session to name electors. So uh, it's going to the legislature. So this is going to go on for a while. Who knew that we'd be going into December and we'd still be talking about who the next president's going to be. So we will be back, of course, next week with more updates on the latest devel developments. For now, reporting live from the newsroom, I'm the bag of We're going to have to look on that one. But continue to stay with TV5 as we bring you the latest in Election 2000 coverage. President Clinton hailed America's Olympic athletes at the White House today. He also sought to bring the name to the out of ever. He told the Olympic athletes, quote, we have got to turn this around. Clinton also accepted an Olympic jacket from the visitors. Area hospitals are using blood at a faster rate than volunteer blood donors are giving. Friday, December 1st at St. Charles Catholic Church. Monday, December 4th at Clarion University's Tip and Gym, and Wednesday, December 6th, at the East Brady Ambulance Building. Stay tuned, because we will show you these dates later in this month before we know when you are A federal and state tax update seminar is scheduled Thursday, December 7th, from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the Holiday Inn in Clarion. 
Participants completing the seminar will receive eight CPE credits. The registry for the seminar is 95. Registration forms are due by December 4th and should be sent to the Division of Continuing Education, Clarion University of PA, 210 Still Hall, 840 Wood Street, Clarion, PA, 164. Clearing and hope. Please make checks payable to Clarion University. Coming up next, details about the new YMCA opening nearby. And one quick note, the town meeting scheduled for tomorrow has been canceled. Live from Clarion's very own, Carolyn Kelly, Carrie LaVue, Courtney Maines, Ben Thompson. This is live. Hey kid, if you don't listen to that girl, go out with him. Pass it down. Hey, Graham, the girl you want to go out with this girl. I don't want to know if the girl over there is. I don't know what we're getting into. He's great. Me too. <laughs> Are you a donor? Make sure your family knows your decision so there's no question later. This portion of the programming is being made possible through a grant from the Clarion Agway, the Long Main Clarion Agway on my flag. Garden, pet, and farm slides. They also offer a large selection of power equipment. The Clarion Agway is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. That's the Clarion Agway, 113 not the You know, wouldn't a better name for a movie to come out now? And I think I'm gonna make the movie. It'll be good. Book that. And uh, call us, uh, get her book. Um, you're gonna find it online. I just rather find it. Lots of different students have some problem here with. Tune into feedback with Mark Despotakis every Tuesday and Wednesday night beginning at 7.30 p.m. Because we're totally out of time, no time to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to TV5 News Live at 8. We'll have a home. We have a group again through Friday at the YMCA Family Program Center on Route 322, just west of Strattonville. The new YMCA will offer an adult wellness center for those 14 and over. Also, a youth center designed to increase flexibility and awareness of the all hours of operation. A community room is also available for the non-physical programs. The new facility will have its grand opening at 6 a.m. on Monday. Even as Clarion County Commissioners are poised to enact a 30% increase real estate tax, they are saying another tax. According to Commissioners John Shropshire and Dave Seifert, legislation has been approved that allows all counties to collect a hotel or motel occupancy tax of up to 3%. A Clarion University woman with $100 up to the hearing boyfriend testified she physically assaulted him outside his residence hall. The incident occurred on September 5th outside of Campbell Residence Hall when the former couple, Heather Reed and Russell Young, ran into each other. Pleasant words were exchanged at first, but it soon turned ugly and accusations were a crime name and then hit him. He went to court District Justice Daniel George, dismissed the charge of simple assault against Reed, but did fine her $100 plus court costs on the charge of summary disorderly conduct. Clarion University students this week news the clearing of an armed student to build this army kettle location at Walmart in Clarion. It is the third consecutive year that Clarion University students have participated in this charitable activity. During the past two years, the Greek letter organizations at Clarion University have handled fundraising. This year, a student has participated at 7 a.m. and this through December 3rd. The arrival of winter and a partial solar eclipse visible in Pennsylvania will highlight the activities in the December sky, according to Dr. Stephen Schulich, Planetarium Director at Clarion University, Virginia. It will be December 20th, Christmas Day, Monday. Schulich reminds all that you should not look directly at the sun during an eclipse. December is also the annual Christmas Planetarium show at the Pierce Planetarium. The show, A Star in the East, is scheduled on consecutive Fridays, December 1st, 8 and 15 p.m. The shows are accepted. Coming up, Jessica Curry is in with your entertainment news. But first, here's a look at tonight's Pennsylvania winning lottery numbers.
over to Parliament by the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant. The Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant is located at 540 Main Street in Clarion and offers dining as well as a nightclub. The restaurant and club are open seven days a week for your Captain Six Eight Four Zero Zero. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's Pizza Den is located on Old Route and Phone 65555. That's 226 5555. Fox's Pizza Den is open at seven days a week for your convenience. Phone at 226-5555. programming was made possible through a grant by The Carpet Barn. The Carpet Barn is located at 470 South 5th Avenue in Clarion. The Carpet Barn is open Monday through Saturday for all your carpet needs. So call The Carpet Barn, 226-7386. Standing out from the crowd is easy when you stop in a fashion bug located in a Clarion Mall whether you're looking for junior trendy, girls, or women, all with an fully expanded shoe and accessory department, you're surely to find that special touch to enhance that new outfit. And if you have a fashion question, our experts are here to help. That's Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall, just off exit 9, from Monday to 9 p.m., Sunday from noon till 5. What's the most nutritional vegetable? Would you believe sweet potatoes? It's a proven fact, the, science, the Center for Science and the Public Interest Rates, sweet potatoes one over for other vegetables. Now there's a lot more than more than the sweet vegetables, more than just the traditional Thanksgiving and cooking casserole. Here's some very easy dishes, and they're all made with sweet potatoes. It's a cranberry yam bread, it's a quick bread, and it freezes well. Four can sweet potatoes get better that are they love, and just a whole vegetable around. You may profit from some tips on safely doing and cashing checks. Depend on the booth before entering. If it's dark or someone looks suspicious, find another bank. Children have more than one pair or four. But it deposits 66% of the workforce now uses direct deposit, and almost 70% of Social Security checks are deposited that way. A Beaver County hospital that is closing its emergency room next year had to temporarily shut it down for two weeks before it was met a deadline for cutting 175 jobs and 46 acute care beds, which serve patients in need, who need general medical and surgical inpatient care, as subsidiary UPMC, Beaver Valley, and Aliquippa, about 15 miles west of Pittsburgh. City leaders fought the impending closure, saying the area didn't need the money. And Light Company will save 21% on their future electric bills under a plan approved today in Harrisburg. The average monthly electric bill for a residential customer will fall by about $13, beginning in February of 2002. Industrial and commercial customers will save about 17%. The utility company rates are among the highest in the state. Unfortunately, it looks like winter is going to be here to stay, at least for the rest of the week. Let's take a look at the maps and see what's ahead in this week's weather. Taking a look at today's satellite map, our region saw a cloudy sky today, which is a great sky, and the surprise of a late afternoon snow shower as well. Now moving on to today's temperature map, temperatures cooled off again across the United States today. Up north, still seeing temperatures in the low 30s. Meanwhile, those cool 40 and 50 degree temperatures have managed to work their way as far south into Texas. And finally, down south today, they warmed up into the low 60s this afternoon. Moving ahead to tomorrow's precipitation map, looks like most of the precipitation is going to be occurring in areas up north tomorrow, areas of the Four Corners region out west, as well as North Dakota, the Great Lakes region, and all to the River Valley in New England states. They're going to be seeing some mixtures of rain and snow showers again tomorrow. And finally, moving on to tomorrow's front map, our region's going to be seeing a high-pressure system again tomorrow, which is going to be bring more winter to the cool time possibility of snow. And now let's look at the five-day forecast. Taking a look at the five-day forecast today, we saw partly cloudy skies, a high of 36 and a low of 27. Thursday, snow showers with a high of 34 and a low of 28. Friday, partly cloudy and a high of 35. Saturday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 30 and a low of 25. 
And on Sunday, cloudy skies again with a high of 32 and a low of 19. So it looks like we're going to be bringing out those scarves and mittens just a little bit early again oh, this yeah. year. Keep them out because so it's going to be cold for the rest of the week. Recording. Coming back a bit of the forest, but first, take a look at this stock. of life, the only one safe place for kids. Sports going on. Basketball, hockey, football. Who cares about football? Let's hear about hockey news. Uh, if you want to hear about hockey, I guess I can give you some, Carolyn. But let's start off with college basketball. <laughs> In last night's action, the Golden Eagles trounced the visiting Davis and Elkins Senators. The Eagles got off to a slow start, scoring only eight points in the first seven minutes. Flat went seven feet from the floor and hitting five three pointers, racking up a total of 32 points. Alan Stevens and Raleigh Smith chipped in 16 points apiece. The final score was Eagles 100, Senators 53. Despite excellent shooting, clearing defense was a key to victory, forcing the Senators to win the career. This win was the 100th career for Dr. Ron Ryder as Clarion head coach. Ryder, who is in his 13th season here at Clarion, has 200 wins and 122 losses as Eagles head coach. The Eagles are now 2-2 two two on the season with two games this weekend. Friday, they travel to Mansfield, and then Saturday, they're at Bloomsburg. So then, last week, it'll be an NFL Thursday. The Detroit Lions will travel to Minnesota to take on the NFC Central leading Vikings. The last time these rivals tangled, the Vikings won 31-24. to This time, the Lions have a new coach in Gary Moeller, who is 3-0 since taking over for Bobby Ross. If the Lions hope to win, they must keep Randy Robert Smith coming up over at Woods Peace. Game time will be 8.35 on ESPN. The Pittsburgh Steelers need to win this week when they take on the 10-2 Oakland Raiders. They also need to win this week, the week after that, at the Giants. In fact, if the Steelers do not win their last four games, they will not make the postseason. Ed says Will Cower understands the situation his 6-16 is in. If the Steelers do not win their, this week, they would fail to make the playoffs for three straight years. Now, finally, Caroline, here comes your NHL news. The Pittsburgh Penguins lost last night to the Bruins in Boston, 3-1. to one. Former Pens goalie Peter Scudra stopped 17 shots to help the Bruins break their six-game home losing streak. Other NHL games included Ottawa beating Buffalo 3-1, 
The Rangers over the Kings 7-6. Calgary got pummeled by Nashville 6-1. Vancouver over Anaheim 4-1. And San Jose over Minnesota also 4-1. The TCAC Division II high school basketball season is about to get officially underway. In the girls' basketball realm, Cranberry High School is expected to dominate the league for 10 years. The Berries have won their last 163 straight conference games. The Berries look strong again this year with star point guard Kerry Manson only 30 points away from 1,000. In the men's side of the coin, the Eisenhower Knights look to challenge Rocky Grove and Cranberry this year. The Knights have all five starters back to beat Ben. Led by six -love Jason B. It will be an interesting year to watch in high school basketball. Now back to Kerry and Caroline with the rest of your news. Thanks, Ben, for the interesting NHL news. Now, Jessica Jer Curry joins us with this week's look at entertainment. Oops, she did it again. Teen pop star Britney Spears with a performance at the London Arena. Notice Miss Innocent is showing even a bit more skin than usual. Word has it that Miss Spears has become quite good friends with NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal, but it's strictly platonic. According to Shaq, Brits just too darn little for him. Showing much less than the flock to knock off the feet, not by a gust of wind, but by the charisma and charm of co-star and felon Robert Downey Jr. I hear that when the camera stops, the smooching doesn't. Although the couple are trying to keep their love under wraps, the signs are there for all to see. They've been enjoying late night dinners together and were reading the book of an L spring of ears. Can't you just hear it? Do you want a drink? No. How about a dance? No. Something to eat? Are you crazy? Shannon Doherty must apparently still be making up for past sins because the former wild child turned primetime witch doesn't seem to be living a completely charmed life. The girl continues to literally make a derriere of her latest show. Apparently, she was bragging about wearing a G-string on the cover of December's FHM. But then she goes on to tell her witchy co-stars how she flashed the entire camera crew. And there's no buts about it, the camera crew left smiling. Charlie's Angels co-star Drew Barrymore has admitted that Ted Koppel was her very first crush when she was about. Drew says she was in love with him until she was seven. Is it any wonder she later turned to drugs? With your entertainment beat, I'm Jessica Curry, TV5. You never know what you can learn from your mommy. Researchers at Emory University in Atlanta are using the latest medical technology to study ancient Egyptian mummies. Most bodies are being tested. Researchers are able to examine the mummies without unwrapping or damaging them. Well, that's all for Claire and Sherry on TV5 News at 8. I'm Carolyn Kelly, not Caroline Kelly. <laughs> and I'm Carrie LaPou. Have a good night.